Hello, everybody, and welcome back to whatever this show is. Uh, it's me and Dean playing some more Guardians of the Galaxy. Last time we left off, we were on... Well, we were in this giant uh, pink gooey thing, right? Yeah. We were in there. That one. There. Yeah. We <laughs> caught a space llama, and then the cops kicked, caught us, and I might be a dad. I might have impregnated an alien. We're not sure yet, but it's possible. We've had three sessions so far. Uh... Uh, well, Wait, one, one session, one three session, episodes. One session, three episodes. So, you so, yeah, you're right. Four episodes. Oh, please, Rocket, just let me talk. Okay. Um, <laughs> we also know we keep complaining about the talking of animals a lot. They just, I mean, animals, <laughs> characters. They just keep fucking talking. We'll try to, like, not complain about it as much. We hear you. I know people have been like, ah, oh, you complain all the time. It's just because they keep not shutting the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, continue, Dean. Um... I forgot what that place was. I remember the uh, being captured by Nova Corps and the daughter and all that stuff. I just re don't remember where we came from. Uh, I think I don't think it was a specific planet. I think it was like a leftover like war zone uh, from the Chitari War that and we were was, in there. And for. it was like overgrown or whatever. Yeah, With all that pink stuff was like from whatever weapons were used or something along those lines. Okay, okay. Space I got I got I got to go. I got to say hello. Yeah. Look at that stretch, dude. Look at that figure. Look at that form. I'd fuck you. Oh my god. What are we gonna do with you? What if we could shave you down and sell your wool? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I have a suspicion that when his <laughs> eyes are revealed, they're going to be comedic. Yeah, it looks broken. Or Maybe horrifying. Or horrifying, yes. Or horrifyingly <laughs> comedic. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Uh, alright. Language uh, of the trees. Let's see. Actually, fun. hold that thought. Rocket? I didn't always have a translation implant. Um, what are you feeling here? I'm thinking language of the trees. Um, yes. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! <laughs> what? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scud like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> So you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. Excellent. Well... <laughs> you know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man? You're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too before Rocket and and us. 
I am. Good. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Bye. Bye, Groot. Imagine he gets the translator and he's finally able to understand Groot and the first thing he says is like, Where's my coffee enema? <laughs> <laughs> he's really into the coffee enemas, dude. It's very popular oh, out in space. Goodness. It keeps yeah. you awake. Filters right through your colon. Don't have to taste it. It's, oh, it's yeah. magical. It's a magical experience. Soak right into his tree trunk asshole. Yeah, it probably feels extremely good as a tree, right in the roots. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna steal from Rocket. Get that wood swelling up. Go ahead. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I, I noticed there was um, the use of the word flacking in there. At least once. Oh, right. Flarking. I forgot that that was a term. Ah, unflarking believable. How could I forget? Like like Mathis was saying, we hear you. We won't complain as much, but I, I reserve the right to complain about flarking as much as I want. I will. You, I can, will. Only, can, you can only complain about flarking if you use it equally as often. <laughs> uh, I, I refuse. Oh, well, I guess you can't Seriously. complain about it, can you? Hey, what's up, <laughs> Rocket? Feelings, it's a hard pass. <laughs> Do I want to talk about feelings with a raccoon? Sure. So... You here to talk, or uh, you just want to gear up? Oh, Rocket upgrades gear. That makes a whole lot of sense. <clears throat> you still upset with me? Because you're like a furry's wet dream, dude. You're not still upset, Goodness are me. you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, the done good on his on end bottle. With the badoon and that really yeah, hot honestly, ass the game Marian looks great. Girl. They're using the um. <laughs> Uh, the uh, Avengers yeah. game Her engine. Would have spaced your stupid yeah, yeah. Me butt if me and Groot hadn't busted it. And that game did look fine. Like, that game looked good. Control, this looks bad. I would say... <laughs> Too bad you're yeah, this definitely cool. looks I better. Be I will say the only thing that's a little funky with it one other is that time you save me. They, it Contraxia, feels like a little nowhere, stiff. Oh yeah, for sure. Again. But it's not that bad. Okay, okay, okay. So, I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure, Yondu, I know that name. For to pay off your <laughs> Is that Nova the first time we've heard it? X, I, yeah, I think so in the game. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Can I use the workbench? Sir? Oh, can I open this? No. I You've discovered a workbench. You can use it to craft perks. Okay. Oh, oh, well, oh. I'd like to craft a perk. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flarkin' fine. I will, you flarkin' cute bastard. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Uh, so we've got 820 and 230 Big. Um, whirly jiggers and uh, 820 small ones and vibrators. Ones. Yeah. So what do we want here? Uh, we've got a few pages of stuff. It looks like our element. Okay. So it's. All perks. Okay, so there's all listed. Let's just go through these. Element gun, suit, visor, scan enemies during combat. I'm too busy killing them. Boots. And that's it. What do we want to upgrade first? <laughs> um, scanning, I imagine, would give us their health, right? Or at least give us some law, but do we care about law? I don't, if if I there's mean, no actual utility, then I'm not bothered about it. But Yeah, I'm not too worried about it right now either. I'll probably grab that at some point, but there's uh, like got to be better things. Uh, falling prone when hit with a dash. That seemed what, what was that good. on this? Falling prone? Knockdown. Avoid falling prone by dashing when hit to the ground. Yeah, that's actually very good. Uh, hang on, I just want to look at the suit. I don't think I looked at the suit too much. Anything that Shield made? restoration delay. Shield points come back more quickly. Mm. Increase shield points by 50%. Low kick crafting opponents via tracking feedback and additional visor support. Well, here's and the thing. And increase generation by 33. When you were playing, were you struggling, do you think, or do you want to just, like, get the flow yeah, I don't to think I was struggling. Yeah, I don't think I was struggling. I'll go with the knockdown avoidance. I like it. Let's yeah. do that. Hell yeah. Small Marvel crafted. Okay, we got Marvel. 420. He said it. 420. He did say it. Dean, go ahead. Wow. And you know what? We might as well, because it's 400, so use it all, baby. Yeah. Alright. 
Ain't Thanks, Rocket. I appreciate it. Like that anywhere else. Damn right. Bye. Uh, tactical scan. Scanning an enemy provides clues as to how to defeat them. Time slows down while you are scanning an enemy. Okay, so there's, val there's some value there. Yeah, there's yeah. like an enemy that's like whooping her ass. Where's my girlfriend? Uh, are we girlfriend and boyfriend yet? Groot? You're laughing and saying I am Groot in there. I'm a little nervous. Is that my toothbrush? What? Hey, what? Hey! Great. Groot! Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> okay, that That's disgusting! Me, that made me laugh. <laughs> that fucking asshole! I put that in my mouth! Ooh. Oh, hey, Drax. Any what we got? I uncover will go directly to you. But I am unsure the others will do the same. It's Dave Bottle Boss. <laughs> Talk to me, imposter. So, you're taking the whole thing. This gold bag is. Pretty <laughs> seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, this, yeah, this music better be Star Lord specifically, because we have streaming mode on, alright? Ding ding ding. I'm not afraid ding. of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Drax's eyes look a little strange, okay. or is it me? Wow. His Do eyes? Yeah. Calling the kettle Let me look at him deep I into his pearly whites. It, it, it's... Uh, thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly just a color. upstanding citizens. I don't know if it's the color, or it's just like stiff and just I, I don't know. Say the same for the others. No, I don't know. It looks fine to me. You're just weird. Okay. You won't know until I apologize, Dark. Yeah. We'll see. You better. Oh. He said we will see to me as well. Yeah. I yeah, mean he's it. Mad. I'm sorry. Okay, Drax. I'd like to leave, sir. Could oh. you unlock your door? <laughs> you're locked in here with me, <laughs> Drax. Hello. Right, wait, where's the key? You let me I out? will. I refuse to look him in the eyes. <laughs> God, he's like looking you up and down like this. I person. have to do. Nope. He refuses. He won't look Drax in the eyes. Uh -oh. oh. Oh. No. Oh, half a second. Now we're just looking at his shiny dome piece. Very disrespectful, Star Lord. There we go. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? They're action figures. Do you value your life? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Okay, bye, Gamora. You're still very pretty, even though in canon canonical comics we don't get along very well. <laughs> that's that's cute. Even when you don't have like a major story beat with a guardian, you can just like have this little animation or whatever. I like that. Yeah, it's really cool that you can like units? check in on everybody. Do not hide my units in a stash, for I am not a rodent. Okay. Neither am I. You are rodent like. Can I see a You're button a prompt? Like. No. That is not a valid taxonomic order. I, I was like, wait, where is Drax? Drax, man, these people <laughs> move fast, yes, dude. They do. <laughs> They're incredibly quick with where they position themselves. What's this? We'll reflect on it. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is Star Lord. Sweet tracks. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What, what was that? That was me singing along. What? What? You have a problem? <laughs> yeah, Papa, yeah. <laughs> it sounds Mongolian in origin. That's uh, did I not tell you? I'm 23% Mongolian. Conjure some units from Okay. Can you do that? Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't know that. What's the other 77? Yeah, and I'm actually 50% of Kublai Khan's child. Is that is that is that sir? Tell me more. Yeah, no. We my he banged a lot of people, including my great 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 grandma, and then uh, through more banging, here I am. Wow, a process of conglom banging. Look like an yeah, it was uh, he conquered the the lands and uh, dead poo. Where where am I? Where am I? Uh, sorry, not to interrupt. Where am I going? I don't know. We're still talking and walking. Perhaps we are somewhat alike. Ah, space. Is this just a little? Yeah, this is okay. just a little thing, I guess. All right, let's play the game. I would love to. You know what bothers me, Rocket? Not knowing what to do. Do we go to the helm and sit down? Yeah, I tried going into the helm. Okay. 
Yeah, well, uh, no offense. Don't yell. Will, Groot's in there jerking off. Promises. There's Drax. Groot's screaming. Yeah. That's the menu <laughs> to <Groot>. that. <laughs> so you should have built like that. It's funny, but. Uh, Gamora. What the? I was Whoa, just... what? Who are you talking to? What? What's a bluebird? Knock it, first. Um, she even had time to close the door. Yondu's call sign. Right? Maybe she he wants me finally. Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Danta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. That's a cool amazing. name. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know what's it her problem. amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. Green tit. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Same, he didn't get Wait, scooped by Yandu in the comic. Uh. I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. Okay, Ooh. the pirate code. Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. Yandu and I were cellmates. Yeah, pirate code, dude. The Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead... He invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? Daddy. Daddy! Could have been worse. My blue daddy. Daddy, sorry. Yondu daddy, and I were sorry. cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Athamon? Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. <laughs> I had Boy. cellmates before, and none of them Boy. lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But, it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Anybody else want to rudely interrupt? While I'm looking at my own personal affects, anybody? Because I'm going to do that just in case. Doors unlocked. No need to knock. Don't worry about it. I'm going to inspect this pizza box. Oh, wait. No, it's not I'm, a box. Yeah. Oh. Are you done in right. there? Rockets well, is yelling. Well, well, Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Money? Money? Really? I found money, everybody. 37 units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. Semi-nice. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. <laughs> yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. 
Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Okay, we've oh, it's been brought on. up twice. What are the odds we're gonna be fighting Finn Fang Foom in this game? <laughs> He'll just show up. Yeah, he's just gonna be there. And Drax is just gonna jump at him. Finally, Finn Fang Foom! They're fighting? I will sacrifice your head. Hey, that was rude, Gamora. Alright. Hey, hey, hear out Drax. Fing Fang Foom. Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most <laughs> legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters More than the Galactus? All go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. More than Thanos? Imagine the glory of such <laughs> death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. <laughs> out of the question. Well, we. Well, God, uh, case, Drax kind of has a point. I'm not selling my stuff. I am Groot. <laughs> He's got a point. He says we should. You gotta take both, both floppy ideas. titties and bring them together. Sell Gamora's <laughs> trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want monster? I'll show you monster. Whoa, guys. What? Groot, are you really offering to. No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, <laughs> sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? <laughs> How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh, uh, who we sending? Who we selling? Um, this basically boils down to who do we want in a gameplay scenario, right? I say I, I say Groot is more uh, um more valuable, valuable? in combat. Alright. We're well, selling Mark Rocket then. Get him out of here. On the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh we get a quill. The point is is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. All right. Honestly, the writing is pretty damn good. I've got to admit it. Yeah. It's not I'm bad. Not seriously flying into that. It's just the voice the actor for Star Lord is so strange. Are tied yeah. to the temperament of its ruler. That's He's got the most lines, so you work. need the cheapest Ooh, guy. And... Anyways, I'm sure it looks yeah. worse than it is. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that, that fast frame of every cut. <laughs> every time. Well, I'm going yeah. in, Jim. <laughs> Oh my goodness, me. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. Piece of cake. Oh, yeah, I forgot you put that. Yeah, I got the gold fingers. I'm like, wait, what? Why do I look like that? What's wrong with me? Perfect. Bad eye. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Love scoping. Nope. Okay. Back Almost home, there. I scope professionally. Boom! There it is. Look at me, dude. Nova Core Star Lore. You know what I'm saying? I'm flying. Oh. Monsters do not fly ships. Solid call. Monsters do whatever they want. We love it. And there's my dumb helmet. Don't you get all Whop. gloomy right now. Don't Whop. help. 
Because right. you're constantly complaining, Des. <laughs> are we leaving you're everybody at the exit? The it's hard to tell where the voices are coming from. They've got to be down here. Who? Llama, you can come. You're invited. Hello? I don't want to talk to any of you. Talk to Rocket. I would like talk to, to leave. Oh. Okay, here we go. You gotta talk to Rocket. He's about to sell himself. And that there that's the whole reason I'm selling him. <laughs> so you don't ask he's talking him. too much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, once again, this game is beautiful. Yeah. It's so pretty. Kind of reminds me of uh, A Bug's Life, the way the terrain is. The, a Bug's Life? Yeah, do you remember when he's trying to get over the, the like, the barren land, and it's all dry, and the, the cracks Oh, uh, vaguely, like yeah. Yeah. Dude, it's, I can't remember the last time I watched A Bug's Life. I had to have been, like, <laughs> 13 or something crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... That's probably around the age you wear, right? When it came out. Yeah, I think so. What year was it? You, after you give me the year, I'll tell you my age. 97, 98, something like that. Yeah, I was 12 or so. Okay. I was three. We're building morale. Uh, I'm just watching this and realizing, oh yeah, it's it's a little stiff, isn't it? Yeah, it is just a bit stiff. Don't find the flames. I know, I want to, but not really. We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking wretch. Exactly. She's a stinking rich woman. Okay, thank you. Done. <laughs> Flark, dude. So is Lady Hellbender? I wasn't paying too much attention. Was is Lady Hellbender actually controlling the weather, or was that just like a thing that Drax is saying because he's Drax? That's a great question. I have no idea. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You're getting pushed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. We're going. We're going. Yeah, well, that's fair, Rocket. If we die, and no one's gonna complain, dude. Use the, can you use the bushes for wind cover. I'm gonna try, yeah. I imagine him. He's crouching because it's working. Yeah. I'm not the one actively crouching. Oh. Um, never mind. Whoops. <laughs> we did it this time, that's, though. That's me when I get on a train. No! Oh. Groot, you watch me slide before you. Reach out and lend a buddy a fucking hand. Just a root. Just a simple little like, twig. A Groot root. A Groot root, exactly. Where's the Groot root, dude? Ooh. Hook a brother up with your Grootiest of Rootiest. <laughs> Sounds like a strain. A sativa. Ah, yeah, give me that Grootiest of Rootiest. <laughs> Wow, how far did they fall? How far was the fall? Oh my god. Yeah, like, there was no... I don't understand what happened. We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. We'll find Palpatine in there. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri. And a magic dagger that'll lead us to where we need to go. Uh, guys. Oh my god. Oh, yo, gelatinous cube! Sure. Last alien planet, circular creatures. This but alien planet, jello squares. God, I kind of want to eat that. Uh, you know what, I, I, I me too, dude. Probably because it's like a delicious raspberry. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> delicious raspberry with a bit of like steel spice. In it. Why is it spicy? <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't remember how to play. Well, okay. <laughs> Immediately start shooting. Yeah, that's all I know. Uh, how do I do anything else? How do I make people do Ooh. things? Okay, yeah. 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 Girl, girl. Go, girl! Slash that bitch in the air. Go. All right. 
Drax, pick up the rock. I don't know why, I just can tell you to. Pick up the rock, Drax. Okay, Drax, I want you to throw the... Did you th rocks? Drax, did you throw... Alright, Groot. Entwine. Yeah, entwine, please. Groot. Entwine them for me. And then... Okay, I'm in... I'm gonna get out of here. Excuse me. <laughs> he entwined that one. Yeah, he did. Not the one I wanted, but it's fine. We got damage ups now. And I think I can... Yeah. Nice. Okay, hang on. We're gonna go Rocky Raccooner. And then I'm gonna go... Five, four, three. Three, two, one. Two, one. Wait, Drax, pick up the rock. I don't know what it's gonna make you do, but... That's my girl. Yeah, teleport and flip. Oh, yes, Groot. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, that? we love it. Oh, I fucked up the timing. Okay, we're fine. Get out of the way. Nice. Uh-oh. Blue is. Okay, we gotta kill Drax, quick. Pick up a rock. Oh, oh yeah, Drax. Oh. That's what we like to see. All right, we're into I missed all the other times you did that, apparently, but this is fine. I wonder gimme, if gimme, it's gimme. susceptible to a different type of damage when it's jelly. I bet you it probably is, but I don't have any other options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. nice. It looks like bombs clear it. Good, get him, Groot. I mean, Drax. Yes, this, we need this thing. Is there a rock somewhere? Nice. I don't see any more. Uh, yeah. Free Drax! Drax! Hang on, Drax. Don't tell me to free. We know we. I know we have to destroy the jellies, girl. I'm. Um, it's. It's. She's woman splitting. Oh God! Oh God! Hey, grab them. Yeah. See, Groot is the best. Yeah, man. That that hold down ability is super good. Nice rocket. I know I can lock. Oh yeah, I can just right click, I guess, to lock. What's happening? <laughs> he's, he's going sicko mode? He's the last of his kind. He's the last of his kind? We've completely wiped out a species on this planet. That's what a monster around here looks like? That is what a monster around here looks like. And you know what else this looks like? The end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one of whatever this is for some more Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Goodbye! Say goodbye, Dean. Bye! There you go, buddy. Ha ha ha!